welcome. This is the third year of our um, Women's History Month and interviewing very important women in the district. And so this is probably one of my most favorite time of the year when I get to talk to people who I think, and I would say most people would agree with me, if not everyone would agree with me, that these are really, really important people. And today I have with me Tara Mapes. And so I'm really excited to interview you. I think what's interesting and you're going to share with us is that you have kind of a different background. When we, when we um, interview educators, they come with very similar backgrounds. And I think your background, in my opinion, is very inspiring. Mm -hmm. So can you talk to me a little bit about your background and then how you came to Monroe Woodbury and what you're currently doing and how long have you been here? So a lot of things all come okay. together. Okay. Okay. So um, I grew up in Rockland County, and after high school, I went to college for a year and a half. During that time, I didn't know really what I wanted to do, so I decided to join the Army, and I was in the Army for four years. Um, I served active duty. I was in Korea for a year, in Fort Drum, in New York for a year, and then we ended up in down in Georgia. And then when I was done with the Army, I came home back to New York. My parents had moved to Orange County at this time, so that's kind of what brought me to this area. Um, I had a child at the time, okay. so um, I needed to start my own roots with my child and my mother worked for the district and she said, you know, try to get into the school. So I started as a sub. I was also waitressing and, you know, getting making as much money as I could, doing whatever I could, going to school. I went back to school as one RCC and uh, I ended up getting a leave replacement position at Pine Tree as a teaching assistant. Really? And then I did. I worked that for just a couple months until um, I had taken the civil service test for a clerk typist and I was on the list and then I got hired in HR. Um, so I started as a typist in HR in 2005. So I've been there for 19 years now. And most recently I've become the HR coordinator. So I've worked up from the typist role up into a more leadership role and it's it's been amazing. The support has been um, inspiring and it's been having the people around that support us and give us that to know that we have that self-worth it's yeah. it's very important to have that so can you talk to me a little bit about um your work in the military and being in korea what was that like it was different um it was back in in the 2000s early 2000s i joined in 99 so 9-11 happened while I was in the Army. I actually had my son on 9-11 at West Point. So really? I had him on that day here. I did. So um, that's another thing. <laughs> um, so that's when I was still in the Army at the time. That's when um, I, it was the time for me to either get out or stay in. It was my okay. four-year mark. And um, I wanted to just be a mom at that time and be with my child. And um, that, that's the decision I made. And that's why I'm here. And that's that's not easy to do. No, it wasn't. Um, to raise a child and start your roots and going back to work and doing all those things is is, is very difficult. But yeah. you did it seamlessly. I did with it's, a lot of support. But right. Yeah. And I think that's important too mm -hmm. that you had a network of people that helped you. Yeah. Talk to me about your current position and what is it that you that really because every time I see you now, not that I didn't see you before mm -hmm. that way, but every time I see you now, I feel like you have this <clears throat> new inspiration and new uh, set of goals for yourself. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about what you currently do. Well, HR, and why it's so important. It's HR is important because we we start from hiring an adult mm -hmm. and we pretty much support them throughout their whole career here until they retire, which is hopefully what we do. Um, it's in HR is such a huge range of things that we do in between that we our team is really what, what what makes us go so there's not I wouldn't say this is specific jobs that we do we can all kind of help each other out it's the teamwork that makes us get to where we have to get but um, in my new role I have become more of a leadership taking more leadership and um, Lori has shown me and led me to become more confident in what I'm doing. So now I'm able to do interviews and become, do, um, to be part of negotiations and, you know, be, being a part or having a voice and being heard, which is very important. And I'm still learning my voice and that's what I'm getting at this year. That's one of my goals is to, you know, find my voice. And, um, I think that's very important, but I'm, I'm very confident now and I'm getting there and, and, you know, I still have a long ways to go, but it's, it's, I feel like we're in a really good place. I think, again, what's what's interesting about you is your journey here, right? Other people have taken different journeys, and 
it's important for these videos are not just for us yeah. they really are for young people who may wonder what do i do when i get out of high school do i want to go to college maybe i don't want to go to college and i think that your story is i went to college for a year and a half and then i changed and i went into the military mm -hmm. and the military afforded you other experiences and right. i think that's an amazing story to tell because right. our our young people need to look at all the options they have in front of them and you're sort of in the same place that maybe someone else who took four years of college right out of high school right. because you eventually went I and, did get my degree. Right, you I got your degree. And I finished and yes. I yeah, did. And I think that that's, you were then ready to do that. Yes. And I think that sometimes young people are thought to believe, well, you have to go to a four year college and you have to do this. And that's mm -hmm. not necessarily how you can get to your goal. Right. There are other paths. Yeah. And I think you illustrated that really beautifully. What mentor impacted your life or career? My life is my mom. My okay. mom has impacted my life from day one. She's been my support system. She's been there for me through the ups and downs, no matter what. Um, she's been there for me 100%. I would say in my career, especially most recently, is Lori Hawk. She has, she's like the shining star. She is the best person to learn from. She's such a great leader. And she's, she's the epitome of the team. Like she's, the, she's just, I can't say enough, enough about she should be sitting here. She should be the person that's getting interviewed because she is, she just like oozes women empowerment and support and everything. And I'm so grateful to be working with her and learning from her because I can't find anyone better. I couldn't do anyone. Sometimes it's better to have the mentee speak about the mentor than the mentor be interviewed mm -hmm. because it's more, sometimes mentors don't like that. Right. Um, and it's, it just, it's great to hear someone else speak about another woman. And so one of the things, and I'm gonna give it to you now because you said something. So one of the things that we're giving everybody is empowered women, empower women. So you just mentioned, you know, Lori Hawk and your mom, right? Both of them. Yeah. They had to be empowered in order to empower you. Right. So this is a little token. There's more questions, so okay. don't think this interview is over. <laughs> but I thought I would give that to you Thank because you. you said something that resonated with my belief, right? Empowered women have to help other women. Yes. And so you're now empowered, right? Yes. Your responsibility will be to find other women and men too, but it's mm -hmm. Women's History Month, so we're going to focus on women. <laughs> But I think it's important to empower other women because we want to be the support to other other people. I have some rapid fire questions. Okay. What's something that's on your bucket list? I would love to travel across the country with my husband in our overlanding Jeep, which is equipped to sleep and camp and refrigerator and everything, and just go overlanding and see the places that you can't see normally. That's what I want to do. Wow. Yeah. Don't know when I'll get to do it, but it's in the plan. Like how long would that take to do? What do you think? It could probably take a couple weeks. I guess it depends on where you want to go and how long you want it to go. We could do one week go to the west and another week go down south and you know maybe do one year this, do one year south and do one year west. I don't know. I just want to see it all. I haven't that seen anything. Fun. So yeah, that sounds like fun. Yeah. So if you do that, you have to bring back pictures. Of course. And what song gets you in a good mood? I am Woman by Emmy Melly. Have you heard it? It is yes. such, it's an empowering <laughs> song. I sing it in my car, I blast it, I sing it in the shower. I, it's, it's like my favorite song. It gets me happy and going and it makes me cry sometimes. It's, it's, a, it's a really good song and I recommend anybody. So Tara, I just want to say thank you. I've watched you grow um, into this young, vibrant woman who is empowered, knows what she wants. I think you've learned your voice. I think you just, Wanna? I mean, you may wanna make it louder. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't know if that's that's what I'm trying to say. But but I I am so proud of the young woman that you've become, and that you've managed that by raising a, a son who's graduated from Monroe mm -hmm. Woodbury. Now you have a younger son. Mm -hmm. So I through. right. So you you have really um, done a lot of what American women in this country have to do. Right. Yeah. Sometimes you have to do it by yourself with the supports of others yeah. and you've done it so gracefully Thank you. and I'm really proud. I'm proud Thank that you've so graduated much. and you're in the position that you are. And I think you're going to be wonderful. And I hope to come back someday and see you sitting in somebody else's seat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I love it here. This is family. This is community. And like I said, we're here for the children and if we're not here for that, what are we here for? We are. Thank you so much. Thank you.